Our agents have encountered more followers of Corypheus, these so-called Venatori. Their leader, Calpernia, has them searching elven ruins. For what, I do not know. I propose we stop the Venatori before they find what they seek. Do you know anything about Calpurnia? Only that Calpurnia is a name from ancient Tevinta legend, an unusual one. She was a priestess of Dumat, foster mother to the founder of the Imperium. A name like that is meant to assure the Venatori they follow in the footsteps of legends. We must prove them wrong. Calpurnia must be up to something. Corypheus doesn't seem the type to suffer idleness. I will not let her and Corypheus take us unawares again. These Venatori have been shadowing a merchant called Vicinius on Calpurnia's orders. They've investigated his finances, surveyed his warehouses. I propose that you meet with Vicinius. Flatter him. Find out what he knows of Calpurnia. Vicinius sounds like a Tevinta name. Born in Tallow. Although he claims to be from Virantium, he sells rare oils and amber, and prefers red wine to white. What side of the bed does he sleep on? He's unremarkable. I cannot think why Calpurnia would care. What if Vicinius is as much in the dark as we are? It never hurts to eliminate an avenue of inquiry. And we should tread lightly with the Venatori. They have contacts and spies, just as we do. The sooner you speak with Vicinius, the better. We need him to open up about these bloodthirsty cultists. I'll bring wine. Vicinius could be a useful ally. Merchants travel. And they love gossip as much as coin. I'll make arrangements for you to visit his summer home in Val Rayo. Hopefully your attention should be enough to pique his interest. We'll have Calpurnia's secrets yet. Your trip to the merchant's home yielded results. Before she became leader of the Venatori, Calpurnia was a slave from Minrathus. Even slaves with magic are treated unkindly in Tevinta. If Corypheus freed her, no wonder she follows him. She must believe freedom will reign under Corypheus. Perhaps. Calpurnia has freed every slave she's purchased. Vicinius tracked his shipments. My agents will investigate. This may lead us to Calpurnia's lair. In the meantime, speak to Dagna. The crystal you found on Vicinius fascinates her. This is an amazing find, Inquisitor. The shape rid in Orzammar had something like it. Greetings to you too, Dagna. They preserve voices, or a likeness. Memories, you know? You don't know. It doesn't matter. The Venatori cracked it, but here... These documents you found, Inquisitor. I've made interesting... Have no fear, demons. But the power will draw them unless you have wards against possession. Once you have become the vessel, demons will be beneath your concern. Prepare as I have directed. I shall, Elder One. The crystal couldn't take any more. Wasn't meant for this. Corypheus said Calpurnia was going to be a vessel. A vessel for what? They spoke of power and demons. But Calpurnia is already a magister. 
Corypheus must have some other plan. Dagna, again? Well, I'm no shaper, but I might be able to get it to remember new sounds. Really? If we hid it among Copernia's belongings, imagine what we could learn. Huh. I can split it and keep half here. We could hear her speaking right then. It's not how they're supposed to work, and it'll probably break. As I said, I'm no shaper. Inquisitor, Calpurnia's Venatore have been digging up elven ruins. Tracking them might lead us to her. If this crystal were placed in a lair, I cannot overstate the value of what we might learn. Dagna, do whatever it takes to get that crystal ready. Right. If there's a rift growing between Corypheus and Calpurnia, we must exploit it. I'll have the crystal ready soon. I think. Let me find the Quicksilver. The barrier holding him is impressive. He is no threat to us, if he ever was. What is this? Who are you? Magister Eresthenes, am I a scholar of Tevinter? To Corypheus, I am bound to answer every question. <laughs> Calpurnia's sake, I am lost. Corypheus did this to you, on Calpurnia's behalf. She knows not a court. I am a ruin, the jeweled husk when the butterfly leaves. I was the greatest scholar of the old gods in Minrathus. No, in the Imperium. One night, he came to my door. For my relics, I thought, my writings and runes. But instead, my slave went to his side, Calpurnia, to become the vessel and save Tivinta. If Calpurnia is this vessel, what are the contents going to be? I do not know power. It, it, it must be some sort of power. Power like Ethemil's, risen in flame. Is that why Calpurnia joined Corypheus? To save your empire? Yes, she seeks a leader, Corypheus, to shape Tevinter's rebirth. Oh. She would raise up the slaves as, as she was raised, bring a new order with, with a heart of steel. She could do it if she were not the vessel. If Calpurnia is the one Corypheus wanted, why do this to you? For practice. I, Corypheus, crafts a vessel for whatever power he seeks. Yes, but he does not need his vessel to have free will. About her, these same chains will fall. I am to cage lightning. My binding is the poor pencil sketch. Campania will be the masterpiece. She'd reconsider being Corypheus's pet magister if she found out. Hers is a cold rage to rival the wrath of Corypheus. 
This chain has broken me, friend. No wings can raise my mind. Please, breach the circle. Its wards will trigger. I will be dust and light, free. Or it will kill us. Corypheus is not above placing such a trap. Corypheus' circle will hold its destruction within. Tight, tight. No fear, only freedom. I can't waste your knowledge. Leliana should question you. My agents will secure this place. Maybe they can undo that circle somehow. You would make of me what he makes of Calpurnia. What shall I make of that? The reports from our agents at the shrine are intriguing. You were correct. Once Calpenia becomes the vessel, she will lose her freedom. We are interrogating this magister Erasthenes. We may learn more from him. Thanks to Corypheus, that old magister will tell us everything. A refreshingly straightforward operation, yes. Corypheus' notes mention a place where regret dwells. That is more of a mystery. Until the notes are deciphered, I intend rumors of the binding ritual to reach Carpania's ears. Why waste time with rumors? Warn her. We are the enemy, Inquisitor. She suspects Corypheus. But she knows we work against her. Breaching his sanctum might give Corypheus pause, yet Calpurnia is silent, as are her agents. We have given her something to think about. <laughs> 